Hey guys, so today I have a video that I think I'm the first person to think of doing this. I researched just a tiny bit and nothing came up, so I'm gonna run with it. But this is the crunch time tag and all of the books that we are going to choose, the prompts spell out the word crunch, which I'm really excited about. But I'm also pretty nervous because there's only six weeks in the year left. Like how scary is that? <laughs> but these are some of the books that I'm hoping to read before 2020. So let's go ahead and get started. First C in crunch is a current book that is on your TBR. So that could be literally anything you have on your TBR. And I picked The Afterlife of Holly Chase by Cynthia Hand. I really wanna read this around Christmas time because it's like, Scrooge related and I do think that this would be kind of perfect to end the year on um, like reading it on Christmas. The R is a reread or a retry um, and I'm gonna choose Undead Girl Gang by Lily Anderson. I tried to read this and didn't enjoy it but now that I have read and absolutely loved these witches don't burn. There's a bug. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm going to retry this book because I don't think I gave it a fair chance. Um, the plots sound similar, so I really do think that I'm going to enjoy this the second time around. You is an unread author or unread genre or unread really anything um, that you want it to be, but it has to be something that's like new to you. Um, so I picked Red, White, and Royal Blue by Casey McQuiston. I don't know. This is a new author to me. I've never read their books. Uh, so I'm really excited about this book, but I'm also kind of nervous um, just because I don't know. I mean, I know what I'm getting myself into, but I've never read any of her books. So this should be interesting. The N is for a new release, and for that I have picked Now Entering Adamsville by Francesca Zappia. Now I'm really excited about this book because I read and loved um, Eliza and Her Monsters, and there's like little illustrations throughout this as well, and it just sounds like a super interesting book and I can't wait to get to it. I think this came out a month or two ago, so it's pretty recent. The other C is, um, a book that you're curious about and that could be from your TBR, that could be from something that you've seen online, just a book that you've seen and are pretty curious about reading. And for me, that is Long Bright River by Liz Moore. I was really interested in this when I saw it was a 2020 release and I lucked out and <laughs> won a Goodreads um, giveaway for an ARC. So, this does not come out until January, but I'm very curious to see if I will love this. So this is definitely the perfect book for this prompt. And the last one, <laughs> which I think is probably going to be the one that people are gonna have the most fun with or are going to hate tremendously. <laughs> and the H stands for a hyped book that you wanna read um, before the end of the year. Mine is Ninth House by Lee Bardugo. I originally was not interested in this book whatsoever because it was getting an insane amount of hype. The book snake was everywhere and I haven't successfully found a Lee Bardugo book that I absolutely love. So I was really hesitant to pick this one up but it was a book of the month club option. I didn't really like any of the, any of the other selections. So I was like, well, I guess I'll try this one <laughs> because I had already spent the money. So, I mean, what you gonna do? But this has definitely been a hyped book over the past couple months. So I am nervous. So yeah, I know this is a very short video, but those are my crunch time books that I'm hoping to read before 2019 ends. If you all would like to participate, you have officially been tagged. Um, I'm not gonna tag anybody in, in particular just because I want this to be, you can tag whoever you want. I would love to see other people do this video. I think it would be a lot of fun. Um, but anyway, if you all have books that you want to recommend me or you want to do your own crunch time with, Tell me down in the comments below or make a video and tag me in it. I would love that. 
Um, but anyway, please do follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Goodreads because that is where I will be posting about what I'm reading and what I'm thinking, which will hopefully include all of these books. If you want pretty nails like mine, I've got like fall, somewhat Halloween-y looking nails. I think they look more fall. Anyway, <laughs> but my Color Street link is down below. Um, that really helps me out. It funds this channel and fuels my reading addiction. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you all next time. Bye.